Good morning, Stevens County. I'm Casey and this is Layla. Here's what is happening on Friday, August 30th. Congratulations to our Lady Rebel softball team for their win over Habersham last night. This improves the Rebels to 6-1 and one on the season. The Indians will be in action tonight at Cedar Shoals. If you are interested in trying out for the Rebels archery team, please see Ms. Housley in room 180 or Ms. Goss in room 147 for paperwork. For the 7th graders that want to attend the Spring Break Georgia Highlights Field Trip, there will be a parent meeting on September 5th at 5.30 p.m. in the Media Center. We also want to wish a big happy birthday to Ms. Kristen Moore. Today's lunch will be pizza variety, garden salad, veggie dippers, and fruit. Tuesday's lunch will be mini corn dogs, baked beans, potato smiles, and fruit. Oh gosh. <laughs> September is Attendance Awareness Month. We have Ms. Cobb and Ms. Ragsdale to tell us about our attendance challenge. TD! Touchdown! TD! Touchdown! That's right, girls. September is Attendance Awareness Month, and this year, why not kick it off with an epic school-wide challenge? We are going to call it a tennis challenge theme. This year, you're going to, your team formation is going to be your academic one, your homeroom. So example, Ragsdale team. Your goal as a team is to meet 96% of attendance. Each week or each day, you'll just simply check with a check mark or an X if your class met the goal or didn't reach it that day. Weekly challenges will be, um, they will represent the quarters of a football game. So four weeks, four quarters. After that, we will, at the end of September, we will recognize the grade level winner for each um, homeroom class per grade level that are our attendance champions. And what do champions get? Trophies! Trophies. Now please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty to justice for all. Remain standing for a just code check. As we continue learning about Habit 2 and what it means to begin with the end in mind, it is important to take time and reflect and evaluate how we are processing, progressing towards our goals. For today's mission moment, I identify one success from this week, then identify something you can improve for next week. Remember that we won't have classes on Monday, September 2nd. Have a wonderful day of growth and greatness. And, and go, go Rebels! Rebels.